Alhaji Nasa Ntege Sebagala was a surprise inclusion in the cabinet announced by President Museveni last Friday. He was named Minister Without Portfolio, but there are concerns he could not make it beyond appointments committee of the House. Today, his longtime political rival, now the Lord Mayor of Kampala, Arias Lukwago, wrote to the Speaker of Parliament seeking to block his appointment. Sebagala is scheduled to appear for vetting tomorrow. In a later dated 30 May, Lukwago wants to stop Sebagala's vetting process, citing the failure to hand over office and city properties. He's still holding on to the office of the mayor. So we are saying illegally, you cannot be vetted as a cabinet minister when you are still holding on to the office of the Lord Mayor. So he should facilitate with this position. Let him hand over the instruments to the accounting officer. Let him hand over the report, the inventory of all the assets which have been in easy possession. Everything should be uh, put on record. And then he goes a clean man. He should also hand over our house, the former town clerk as a house where he has been staying as the, the mayor. The, 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 this matter has got serious legal implications. Another letter by the Chief Executive Officer of Kampala, City Authority Jennifer Semakula Musisi, is asking Sebagala to hand over office and city properties. But the former mayor says he already handed over the properties and accused Lukwago of being ignorant of the new law governing the city. Yes, we hand over all the properties, this is the files, we hand over all the furnitures, we hand over the vehicle for the Kampala State Council, those are the property which had been now on my on 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 my on my area. I think he doesn't know the new law. What does it mean? Who's supposed to be correspond to the said speaker? Somebody who's supposed to correspond to the speaker is not uh, Lord Mayor. We have what you call a chief executive. Then chief executive, we do have what you call uh, is the minister of concern, the minister of Kampala. The vetting of the new cabinet starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow and ends on Wednesday. Sebagala features on tomorrow's list. Others are Eria Kategaya, Moses Ali, Muruli Mukasa, Kabakumba Masiko, Janet Kataham Seveni. The nominees will be expected to come along with their CVs, curriculum vitae, which they are now submitting to the State House, the President's Office. And uh, from the President's Office, they will be forwarded to the Office of the Speaker and the Clerk to Parliament for copies to be made for the members of the Appointments Committee. What they want is to have an interaction with them about their experience, their personality, integrity, and suitability for the office. Other appointments that are to be scrutinized tomorrow include that of Kahinda Otafire, Peter Nyombi, Amelia Chambade, Henry Banyanzachi, among others. Altogether, 35 ministers are scheduled to meet the appointments committee to present their credentials.